Hello, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My page is about common sense. I try to keep it down under 10 minutes. And if I talk over five, 10 minutes, that means it's something very important. And of course, I'm not going to do it again because I'm, I'm keeping I'm going to keep them down in 10 minutes. I don't really like doing talking for 15 minutes. Okay? I'm not getting paid for it, okay? <laughs> but I'm still doing the things for noble deeds instead, okay? If you got any comments or if you have any insults or motherfucking suggestions, you put it down and then I'll uh, screen it and approve of it. I make my videos particularly for uh, people who are educated and who like humor in their life and who are not closed minded. Okay. I'm not looking for, I'm not I'm not looking for anybody who just who can critic criticize my, my videos, but of course if you want to criticize you can criticize. We'll debate like a motherfucking beast. <laughs> and you'll lose, of course, naturally. But then all of a sudden you'll try to win because you think you, you found an, an ultimate source age today and then you'll still lose. And I'm like, motherfucker, okay. Um, <laughs> this video is going to be about the side effects of uh, birth control. When I talk about birth control, I'm talking about the pills and the condoms, mainly. Okay, people? <laughs> And when you use those things, you know, you can actually see the proof. Okay, remember I told you about the 70% of the women who are whores of Babylon? You know, a portion of them are the independent of uh, independent women. Okay, now, 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 now the queens are always thin, okay, unless they have a, it's hereditary that they are meant to be fat, okay, or, or thick, okay, some shit, really. See, there's a difference, let me make it, let me make it real clear. There's a difference between being thick, fat, and obese. Okay, this 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 is how I see it. Okay, obese is like omnipresent fucking fat. This outrageously fat with the big O. Okay, <laughs> giants. They're like humongous. Okay, I make fun of all sorts of people. Okay, you can make fun of me. It doesn't really matter. Okay, we can have a roast fest like a motherfucker. You can talk about my cooler bowl head. Okay, I don't care. Okay, um, but anyhow, obese is this humongous. And I told I told I told my wife. See, if she gets fat, okay, I've dealt with females, I rolled around in the pigs plenty with fat females, and they always want me to get in their big ass drawers, they always want me to lift their motherfucking belly, I'm like, what the fuck, who, you, who the fuck you think I am, you think I'm gonna work out for you, <laughs> so my cousin, shit, he loves fat women, obese women, okay, humongous women, now, don't get me wrong, there are some females, however, who can't help it, Hypo, like a hippo, okay, hypothyroidism, and it's a sickness to where they can't stop it, they can't, you know, and I feel bad for them, just like little dick motherfuckers, okay, but there's ways of helping yourself, you know, I, I, I believe that it's all about what they eat, okay, and how the way they think, okay, so basically if a person is truly fat, even if it's hereditary, they can actually lose the weight. Because then I've seen on the opposite on the spectrum, I've seen uh, uh, anorexic type individuals who are bony as hell and skinny, and they chose to be that way. They will throw up their food because they know for a fact that most people don't are, don't accept fat people. They just don't. Now, a particularly small amount of black folks love fat women, okay? Because probably you got 15 inches or some shit. They love the juices and all that shit, you know? That's another subject. Uh, but we're not talking about that here. Okay, they got a lot more juices, but I'm not lifting that shit, okay? That's obese. When you're fat, okay, you, you, you're still out of shape, okay? You know, you, when, when someone's obese, they weigh tons, okay? Or like 400 pounds or 500 pounds or something. Or even, even it, it can even be like 200 pounds. But when someone's really fat, it's about that mark right there, 200 pounds. Fat is 200 pounds. I don't care how tall female is. Once the 200, I don't care how tall she is, whatever. She better be thin as fuck. She better be fuckable, okay? <laughs> If you got a female who's, a, who's seven foot tall, then it's acceptable because she's like tall, 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 tall. But women are supposed to be slender. They're that, that's what they're that's what they're supposed to be. But they, you know how the white man put all these preservatives in the food so that they, they they're gonna get some booties and some titties. Some females at the age of 13, 14, 15, they get titties get real big because they're actually gonna be really fat. You gotta watch that. If you got a you got you get a daughter who basically got small t big titties at a young age, she's gonna be fat just like you. Okay, <laughs> I've seen it. I've seen it. I'm like, damn, this girl is kind of small. And I see her sister over there, fat, chunky. Okay, chunky is fat. Okay, chunky could be the well, not technically though, but that's what I see. Fat is fat is like 200. Thick is like you know you 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 like 180, 170. It's going down. You're going kind of thick. Okay. Now it's okay to be thick, you know, because a lot of fat, a lot of thick females have like nice booties and nice shapes, okay, you know what I'm saying, but they got a little belly, baby, cause, maybe because of kids or something like that, 
But let me get to the point about what the, you know, the the, the, the side effects of fucking birth control is. I've seen, lately I've been seeing on dating sites a lot of females who are just obese and shit. And I had to do a couple research on this shit, and I was like, yo, why is these like, females looking ugly as hell? Some of these females is just fucking outrageously fat. I remember I used to talk to this one motherfucking girl, and she was young and shit. I said like, I didn't think she was gonna. Be. Her mother was fat though, but I didn't do, I didn't do enough research on that. Okay, I told you, check the parents. If the father's fat and the mother's fat, then you must avoid that person. Okay, you understand what I'm saying? If, if you got two skinny people, then that's a good person, okay, to be fucking, because when they get fat, they can lose the weight. Like, my wife, see, the father is, like, thin, okay, and, and the mother is thin, okay, so I don't have to worry about fatness, okay? Okay? Now, birth control is like this, you know, condoms can infect women, condoms can infect men, okay? So the thing is that I read somewhere, okay, I don't remember where I read it from, but I know it, it surely does infect women and men. Sometimes the condom gets stuck up in there and shit in the pussy so far up in there. And it could be, you know, the man pushed it so far up in the pussy. They got to yes. dig it out, but he can't reach it because it's so crammed up in that motherfucker. <laughs> That's nasty. Yes, it is. That's nasty. I've heard stories about that shit. And it also had they use this petroleum jelly and shit. That's not that's forbidden. It depends. Depends on what type of uh, brand you're using. OK, OK, the brand who uses magnums. Don't lie. You think you got a big dick, don't you? <laughs> you lying motherfuckers. Okay. Now, okay, the pills. The pills is uh what you looking at, baby? Because we don't we don't use contraceptives. Right, my love? Okay, uh <laughs> But anyhow, way, don't have a worry about no no urinary tract infections or anything like that. Uh, the peel, the peel is the after effect of what you get when I was checking on the on the internet these dating sites and there's a whole bunch of fat women that's fucking everywhere. I'm like God damn it, man! Why are there so many fucking fat women? Okay, they don't take care of their health. They don't even. I I believe strongly is because of that fucking birth control, that peel. I mean, what's on the peel? And I told you that there is a, a fucking side effect to the peel. When you get older, that shit gains your weight. You gain weight. You're going to gain weight. It destroys certain things inside of your thyroid, I think it does. Or certain, it changes the metabolism and the chemistry of the body or some shit. And these women become an outrageous. And some of them don't even have kids. Jesus, motherfucking Christ. I'm like, damn, what can I find thick, thin females at? Where are they at? I, I, I want to see thin females on top of me. Thin females. I don't want to see no fat females on top of me. Funky. You know, when women who are thicker, they, they can get them yeast, yeast, yeast infections as well. You get urinary tract infections and shit. But that shit is more fishy, though. I smell, I smelt it one time. I had a fat chick sitting in my car, and I started smelling fish. I was like, what the fuck is that smell? Get the fuck out. I, I, I had to put seats on my car. I had to spray that shit. I had to put some, some fucking uh, Clorox on the fucking thing. <laughs> shit happens again. So the side effects of basically... uh using the peel is when you get older okay you get fat okay, and you become attractive and they become bt 1000s okay i use tommy masura type shit but i'm gonna say the beast i call him the beast okay <laughs> and they become angry because they can't get no more so they gotta use dildos and shit and get even more infected because dildos cause infections too whoa it's like what the fuck is going on i was re i read that shit a little while ago man like i think i read that shit a year ago dildos cause infections the plastic, the chemical that's in the fucking plastic is causing women to get these special type of urinary tract, special type of urinary tract infections. I can't really name what it is, though. But remember, brothers and sisters, dildos, um, just for secondary pleasure, um, using the pill and using condoms can all cause urinary tract infections. Congratulations. <laughs> So now when you go in the dating scene, you got to watch out for all that shit. You got to ask a female. You got to ask, put it on the application and say, hey, have you ever used a dildo in your life? Because if you did, you got a fucking urinary tract infection. <laughs> you got a urinary tract infection. Get away from me. I can't do nothing with you. I can't do a goddamn thing with you. That's fucked up, man. Oh, man, all the times I was using the dildo to fuck with other females, I didn't do that. She wanted to do that. I recorded a few scenes and shit. I told my wife about that, and, hey, you know, I said, hey, why don't we create a, a pornography business and put it on YouTube? I wish I could. I wish I could. I would make a whole lot of motherfucking money, okay? Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of light and dark. Peace.